Hi friend, in this tutorial we are going to discuss you how to display our result in a uh, instead of a console to uh, form itself. In the previous tutorial we have learned that how to create a graphical user interface using Java Sim and we are displaying our result in a console. Uh, how to it is coming in our earlier tutorial it is uh, you need to check that uh, you need to click on run file that we have discussed on how to create this uh, form so that is we have already discussed in previous tutorial okay for example where we, when we are typing here uh, price is a 6 and when we select here quantity is a 4 and then it uh, when we click on calculate button it is going to display our result in the output console and that uh, console that value is 24 okay it is there is no issue but uh, instead of uh, displaying the result in a console we want to display our result in a form itself okay for that uh, we uh, there is a need to create more two levels okay uh, it depend on you how to do how to, how you want to display your result in a form but uh, uh, for this tutorial we i am going to display our result in a form itself uh, by using level okay um, that is level is uh, re rename this level as a result okay and you okay. use one more level that result uh, that level is going to display the going to contain the result value which is calculated by price and multiplying by price and quantity okay make it blank but, but because it is going to contain the value okay rename this result okay This is the logic main logic which is uh, executing in the background for the calculate buttons. Okay, at first whatever we um, we have to remove this line system dot out because as our need we want to display our result in a form itself. Okay. we have created our levels and that levels uh, the result level is uh, the result the last one level is j level 4 that is going to display the value calculated value and we are going to display our result in this levels so we are using here j level 4 dot set text okay and set text we are going to contain value string value but uh, but our calculator value is r and we are no, we cannot place r in this uh, set text because uh, r is an integer for that reason we need to convert this r into uh, in the, uh, r into string data type okay okay <coughs> to convert to uh, integer uh, integer value to the uh, to string we need to uh, use two string integer draw two string okay uh, create one more variable that is string z and integer dot to string okay and r okay now there is no need to use system dot out because we are displaying our result in a 
जेलेबल फोर ऑब्जेक्ट ओके राइट क्लिक ऑन द files and click on run files okay now quantity is 7 price is 7 and the quantity is 5 it is going to display as 735 okay yeah it is there now check with another value how it is coming 8 into 4 32 Okay, fine. It is going to display our result in a form itself. Instead of uh, displaying result in a uh, label, you can display our, our your result in text box also. Okay. In the same way, you need to instead of using here you have used uh, label. Instead of using label, you can use here text box. Okay. Text field box. Uh, we are bringing text field here and removing this label okay let it text to make some changes in our coding because j level 4 is not there not in our program okay and we are using j text field 2 okay we need to use this object and instead of j level 4 we need to use j text field 2 object and we are need to run this file say we need at first we need to save this file control s and run this file price is 8 or 10 that is to calculate it is there Uh, <coughs> here uh, we are uh, getting our uh, result by whenever we press a calculate button but uh, uh, in next tutorial i am going to discuss you how to uh, display how to get the result without uh, pressing the calculate result whenever we and uh, changes the value of the uh, combo box it is going to it automatic calc going to calculate the result okay uh, there is no need to press calculate button okay it bring more dynamic features to the form okay thank you for watching this tutorial keep watching and please subscribe my youtube channel that is kamlesh youtube okay my youtube channel is kamlesh youtube thank you